back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jacqueline and I make new videos every week on a whole variety of things, lifestyle, beauty, adventure, all sorts of fun stuff. And I upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. Um, and today I want to talk about something really important and that's SPF. Um, I know for me when spring and summer gets ramped up, I like to, you know, go out and get my new SPFs, make sure I have nothing that's expired, anything like that but you should be applying SPF at least to your face and neck every single day because those are those parts mostly exposed to the sun, but you should definitely be applying SPF every day to any area of your skin that is exposed to the sun. Even if it's cloudy out, even if it's cold, you can still get sun damage from not wearing sunscreen. And um, obviously getting burns and getting sun exposure is the leading cause of skin cancer, obviously and also um, signs of aging. I do wanna say before I get in too deep that I am not a dermatologist, I'm not an esthetician, I'm not a scientist. Um, so I found all these facts on doing my own research and stuff like that. If you have any notes for me, wanna tell me something, please leave me a comment, do your own research, um, talk to your own dermatologists, estheticians, all that fun stuff. I am obviously not any of those, but this is kind of what I've learned throughout my research and my years of using sunscreen. Um, so let's dive into some facts about sunscreen first, and then I will share some of my favorites. So SPF stands for Sun Protection Factor, and this is the measure of protection from UVB specifically. Um, if you wanna have protection from UVA and UVB rays, you need to make sure you're getting something that says broad spectrum SPF, not just SPF. If it doesn't say broad spectrum, you're not getting protection from both types of rays. Um, and an easy way to remember it is UVA. A, it means you're aging. That's the sun damage that's going to age you. And UVB is the sun damage that's going to burn you. So A for aging, B for burning, just in general. Um, so you definitely want to have something that says broad spectrum. All the ones I'm going to share are broad spectrum. They are also all at least 30 SPF or higher. For me, that's really important because SPF 15 blocks 93% of um, UVB rays. SPF 30, it then jumps up to 97%. It blocks UVB rays. And then 50, SPF 50 blocks 98. So there's not that big of a jump but I truly believe that you need 30 or higher to get adequate sun protection. Um, and all of this depends on if you're applying your sunscreen correctly and as directed. If you're applying enough of it, if you're applying it, uh, reapplying it as directed, all that stuff um, is super important. Just because you get a higher SPF doesn't mean you can stay out in the sun longer, you don't have to reapply. Um, all that stuff, you still have to follow the directions for a higher SPF to be effective and to get that, uh, to have it block more of the rays, if that makes sense. Like you can't get an SPF 50 or a 75 or a 100 and think that you can stay out in the sun all day long and never reapply. That's not true. You need to reapply and you need to follow those directions on the back of your SPF. Um, so... Those are some of the fun facts. Just generally, really quick, those are the fun ones. <laughs> what you need to like know in general. Again, do your own research. Uh, consult your dermatologist, esthetician, whoever you trust with your skincare. Um, but those are just some things I found out. And like I said, I always go for SPF 30 or higher. So I'm gonna start with some of my favorite um, SPFs for my body first, and then I'll go into ones I use specifically on my face. Um, so a couple of my favorite ones for my body are the Neutrogena Sheer Touch. I have the mist here. I know some people don't like the mist, but I really enjoy this one. It gives you a really nice glow. I'll actually put some on. There it goes. It gives you like a really nice glow. You can kind of see, um, but it really does protect. And I love that you can hold it upside down and use it. Um, I just think this is a really good one. I have it in the 30. I do think that their like range of sunscreen levels is weird because it goes from 30 to 70 and then to 100. I wish there was a 50 in there because I do like to get the 50 if I can, um, but I'll definitely go for the 30. Um, and I just really like this one. My husband really likes this one too. We actually really like the Sheer Touch line in general. We also have like 
the normal sunscreen in both 45 and 70. Um, so we have a wide range that we can choose from depending on what we're doing. If we're like going to be like in the direct sunlight or if we're going to be in shade, um, we can kind of pick and choose what we're going to use. Um, but I love this year touch because it's super lightweight. It doesn't leave you feeling greasy. Um, I know it gives you this glow, but you don't feel greasy or like it's sweating everywhere. Um, and I really like that. I, my husband actually uses this one on his face. Um, I personally don't like it on my face. I very, use very specific sunscreens on my face. Um, but I do love these, these ones. I actually keep the 70 in my hiking backpack just in case. Um, but the Neutrogena Sheer Touch line in general is one of my favorites and I don't think you can go wrong with it. They make great sunscreens and I just really enjoy this line, clearly. <laughs> um, another one I love for my body, and this one's a little bit different. You might not be able to share with your husband, but I love this one. This is the Hawaiian Tropic Sheer Touch um, Ultra Radiance. And so this has got a little bit of, again, a glow to it. It's got some like shimmery, sparkly things in it. So that's probably why I don't want to share it with your husband. He might not like that. But it gives you this really beautiful glow. Hope you can see that. Um, but it still gives you that sun protection. So it's really nice if you're going to like be on the beach or have your legs out and you want to look glowy and um, like really moisturized. This is a great one. Again, this is, of course, broad spectrum. This is 30. I know they have it in... A lower SPF. I don't know if they have it in any higher SPFs, but again, the 30 works fine for me um, as long as I reapply it like normal. But I just really like this one for, you know, like vacations or if I'm going to be again on a beach, something like that. I love this one. Um, I just think it looks really nice. It blends really easily. And I just love that kind of glowy thing it gives me. And then another brand I love, both of these I've used on my face before. This one I would probably use on my body as well, is Aveeno. I love Aveeno sunscreens. I've talked about these before. Um, the Protect and Hydrate one I would use on my body, but I've used it on my face before too. It's really nice. Um, this is SPF 50, again, broad spectrum. Uh, this one actually says specifically for face. Um, it's oil-free, non-comedogenic all that good stuff. So I love this one. If you have dry skin and you struggle with finding um, a good sunscreen, this one's a good one to try. It's also great for sensitive skin because it is non-comedogenic. Um, I really like this one. I've been kind of trying to switch to mineral sunscreens for my face. Um, that's something else. It's like a personal choice. I know um, chemical sunscreens are supposedly not great for the environment. I don't know about that. I don't know a lot of research on that, anything. Um, I do know that chemical sunscreens tend to be better for sensitive skin. They don't clog your pores and stuff as much. Um, so I've been trying to move to more mineral sunscreens for my face because I do have sensitive skin. Um, but this one was always good on my face. I never felt like it clogged my pores or broke me out or anything. Um, I do find it super hydrating if you have oily skin. You probably hate this one for your face, but I do really, really like this one. And then the other one from Aveeno that I love is the Positively Mineral Sunscreen. This is for sensitive skin. Um, this is a SPF 50, again, broad spectrum, like all of these are. Um, this one is harder to blend in on your face. It does leave a white cast. Um, if you work hard enough at it, it will eventually go away. But that is something to think about when you're choosing sunscreen as well. How hard do you want to work to get that white cast to go away? If you don't like white cast, maybe you have a deeper skin tone. Um, you know, you might not want to go for mineral sunscreens, but I love them for my face again. And so this one I've talked about before. It's one of my favorites. I just think it's a really nice sunscreen. It gives you great protection. Um, I've worn it in Disney before when I'm hot and sweaty and walking around. It doesn't drip or run into your eyes, anything like that. That's super important for me too. Um, and I just really enjoy this one. Another sunscreen from Aveeno, or from Aveeno, <laughs> from Neutrogena that I love. Um, this is their liquid sunscreen. This is for sensitive skin for your face. This is broad spectrum SPF. Again, it's a mineral sunscreen. Um, and I love this one. This is the one I've been using recently. It's a really nice, lightweight, it really is like liquid. 
um, you can actually like, you can hear it. Hopefully you can hear that. It's like really liquidy in there and you mix it up really good. It's got a little bead in there. And then I pour a decent size out onto my hand and I get it all over my face and I actually do a separate application for my neck um, just to make sure I'm really getting that whole area nice and covered. Um, but I really, really like this one. Again, it does leave a little bit of a white cast, definitely not as a harsh of a white cast as the Aveeno one, but it's still super good. Um, I've been really enjoying using it. Um, I wish it did come in, oh, this is SPF 50. For some reason, I thought this was SPF 30. Um, but I do love that 50. I always try to use 50 on my face at least um, to start. I usually will reapply with 30 just because if I'm wearing makeup, it's easier to reapply with the two things I'll share next. Um, if I'm not wearing makeup, I will definitely go ahead and reapply with this. Um, and yeah, I just love this one for my face right now. And the last two things are a little bit different. I actually talked about these in my um, last makeup video, my kind of like spring makeup look, which I'll leave up in the corner and down below. I don't know what corner it is. And down below in case you're curious about that video. But these are two things that I love to use to reapply if I'm wearing makeup. Because even if you wear makeup, you still need to reapply your sunscreen over your makeup somehow. So I love that companies are now coming out with these kind of products to be able to reapply over your makeup because it's still super important. And so the first one I have is a spray. This is the Kula um, Makeup Setting Spray, and this is uh, Broad Spectrum SPF 30. Um, so I love this one. It does burn a little bit, not burn, but like it has alcohol as one of the, I think it's one of like the top ingredients. Um, I don't know, the ingredients aren't on the bottle, they were on the box. Um, but I, that's there, I think, in my, I'm pretty sure, um, to be able to, um, set it down quicker so it doesn't, the sunscreen doesn't evaporate. Um, but I do love this to be able to reapply over my makeup. Again, I have dry skin, so sometimes putting more powder on my face isn't going to help my, like, makeup situation, but I still want to reapply my sunscreen. So I love to be able to just spray this all over my face um, to kind of get that next layer of sunscreen that I need. Um, I don't think either of these things are going to give you the maximum protection that you should be having. Like I said, I only do this if I'm wearing makeup. Um, I would never use these as like my normal sunscreen just because it's harder to tell if you're covering the entire area with these kind of things, if that makes sense. Um, but I do like this for application over my makeup. And then the last one, again, is the Derma E Essentials um, Sun Protection Mineral Powder. This is SPF, SPF 30, again, broad spectrum. I do love this, again, to use over my makeup. Um, it gives you a little bit of coverage, and I think it only comes in one shade, which is really disappointing because everyone could use this. It's great. Um, I know other brands make these like powder mineral sunscreen things. Um, this is just the one I have and I do really like it. It gives you a little bit of coverage in terms of color, but you also get that sun protection um, again over your makeup, which is really, really nice. So I like to just kind of you pop off the lid and there's a little belt and brush. I always kind of tilt my face backwards to make sure the powder is actually like coming out because the powder kind of comes out from the middle right there. You kind of see the hole. Um, so I want to make sure the powder is actually coming out and getting on my face. So I kind of tilt my head backwards and like do it like that. And that seems to work pretty well for me. Um, again, is it, would it be something that'd be my only application of the day? I would definitely be using my normal sunscreen. Um, and even if I do put on makeup, I always put on my sunscreen first and then put on makeup. Even if my makeup says it has SPF in it, I want to make sure I'm getting that really good layer of SPF first before I put on any makeup. Um, but yeah, this is a great one again to go over your makeup. Um, and so those are all my favorite SPFs of the moment right now. Um, I like to try new ones, see what kind of works for me. Um, some of them I've been using for years, some of them are newer to me, but I think they're all really good and they um, are really good at protecting my skin from the sun. And that's super important any time of year, but especially in the summer, you know, you really gotta make sure when you have more exposed skin that you're applying sunscreen to all those parts of your body. So, and reapplying. Reapplying is so, so important. 
reapply, read the directions, make sure you're using your SPF properly to get all that protection. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys learned something, found a new favorite you want to try, something like that. If you have any comments for me or, you know, maybe one of my facts that seems wrong or something, please leave me a comment. I'm always trying to learn. So please leave me a comment with anything you want me to know. Um, I'd love to hear from you guys. Uh, subscribe if you want to join our little adventure family here. And yeah, I think that's it for this video. So I will see you in my next adventure. Bye. Thank you.